Welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another video of BMW Virtualization, VSPL 7.0. And in this session, in this class, we will discuss about the networking. Means how you can manage the networking for your virtual machines, which is available in ESXi hosts. So we'll discuss each and everything. Like as a, firstly, we need to know about the concept because if your concept is okay, so definitely you are able to troubleshoot the environment. You are able to implement or design your own network infrastructure. And after that, we'll move ourselves to the web client and discuss about the procedure how you can design your own network over ISXI host so uh, okay so if we talk about our last session so I think in last session we discussed about uh, how to add domain to our ESXI right so we successfully added our domain controller to ESXI we'll discuss more about it once we come uh, into the part of uh, uh, we center server then we'll discuss again about the domain controller because you know that with the help of domain we are able to manage our uh, NTP services and we are able to manage our the um, uh, active, uh, active active use user we will use our active active user uh, to access our ESXi and uh, to access our vCenter server but for now for now we just need to understand about the concept of uh, virtual network with the uh, uh, VMware vSphere 7.0 so I'm just going to take the RDP of our uh, ESXi and after that we'll try to understand about the components of networking and we'll try to understand about how we can implement in real environment. So if you want to make any changes with your uh, networking, so you must need to log in with the help of root account because in case of root account, you have a full rights. You are able to perform each and every task related to the networking. But before that, I'm going to show you the concept or components of our uh, networking. It's really important. We should know about the usage of our uh, virtual network environment. So in case of VMware networking, in case of uh, uh, vSphere networking, there are two different types of switch. I'm talking about the switch first and after that we'll discuss about the components which is available in our uh, switches. So total two different types of switches are available. If we talk about network switch. So It is categorized in two different parts. You can say that, or we can say that two different types of switches are available. One is standard switch, and second one is related to the DV switch. It's uh, considered as a distributed virtual switch. Two different types of switches are available in our VSphere environment, VMware environment. We can access our standard switch with the help of ESXi host. Means you can say that the standard switch is available. Uh, in every ESXi host that you install in our environment. But talk about the DB switch. Yes, we have option to create multiple distributed switch, uh, but that required uh, at least vCenter server. Means you can say that without vCenter server, we are unable to configure our distributed switch. So it's mandatory to install the vCenter server if you want to perform the task with the distribution switch. So now I'm just going to define each and everything related to the standard switch. So I'm just going to uh, give you the information about the components of your standard switch. So uh, I'm just going to design a structure to understand about the component of uh, standard switch. Guys, for example, this is our standard switch which is contained four important, three important uh, components. One is uplink. You can say that this is uplink. Second one is VM network. And last one is related to the network management, management network. MGMT network. Okay. This is the structure. You can see that this is the structure of uh, uh, standard switch basically. Uplink, if we talk about as per the name suggests, the work of uplink is related to the, uh, you can also consider as a physical NIC card. It's a type of NIC, means the IP address that you are using to access your virtual machine which is managed by the uplink. 
VM network, it contain it's a type of uh, port group, you can say that. It's a type of port group which is responsible to segregate our network environment with different different department as per the requirement. So we'll discuss about how we can configure the port group and uh, also try to understand about the work of port group, uh, why we need to use in the real environment. And uh, management group that contain two important services. One is VM kernel. And second one is related to the vMotion. So these all are the service. You can say that VM kernel and uh, uh, vMotion, uh, two important services available in our uh, management uh, network properties. VM kernel, which is responsible to access our shared storage to ESXi. vMotion, which is responsible to help you to migrate your ESXi migrate your virtual machine from one ESXi to another ESXi. So uh, vMotion, FT, all the options which is available in management network. So I'm going to show you the practical, how you can uh, uh, identify your uh, switch and uh, also we'll try to implement our uh, services which is available in standard switch properties. This is our ESXi host that we created and uh, just need to click on host it gives you the complete information about your ESXi host second we have a manage right uh, so our responsibility to manage the network right so just need to click on networking the third option which is available and it gives you the complete information like as the first one is port group second one is the switch physical and IC VM kernel and ICs and TCP IP stacks and last one is the related to the firewall so our agenda to understand about the structure of standard switch. So just need to click on a standard switch and we are able to find the same uh, structure or topology that we designed in our notepad. Sorry, one note. So we have a Vim, NICART, physical adapter considered as a uh, uplink. This is management network that contain the virtual machine. We can create a multiple management uh, that we have option to create a multiple VM network management network, which is responsible to uh, configure VM kernel and the vMotion services are available in our VM kernel environment. But our agenda to uh, start from the very basic, like first of all, we just need to understand about the uh, what is port group. So we'll discuss each and everything like uh, adding a link, configuring um, uh, VM kernel services. We'll discuss each and everything. But now we need to understand about the concept of VM uh, port group. So only two different port groups are available. One is VM network, the second one is management network, but I want to create my own VM network. We, we, I want to create our own port group with name of HR, sales or any other name. The VM network is work just like a VLAN. So you must need to provide a ID, right? HR is our port group name and VLAN ID is two. We successfully created with name of HR. I want to create one more like with name of sales you must need to use second uh, another port number you can say that another vlan id for sales department add we successfully created two different uh, department two different uh, 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 port group back to the switches and now i'm just going to check the topology we are able to find vlan 4 vlan 5 uh, vlan 2 vlan 0 which is default one, HR is our uh, department, sales is our department that we created with the help of port group. Now, question is that, how we can add our virtual machine to port group? We have only one virtual machine available in one virtual machine available in our uh, ESXi, ESXi host. I'm going to create one more ESXi, one more virtual machine in ESXi with any name because we don't have operating system. So I'm just going to proceed with name of uh, Windows 7 must be a 64-bit, 64-bit operating system. Okay, 13 gig free space. This is the panel where we can decide where you want to put your virtual machine. So hard disk should be a 10 gig, and I want to use thin provision, 2 gig of RAM enough. Uh, we have a NIC card, so by default it's try to connect with the HR department. Although we have a sales, we have a VM network. So it's depend upon you while creating the virtual machine, you can put it into the sales or HR. You can decide the port group or you can decide the VLAN. So I want to put it in a uh, sales department next and finish. Cool. We have two virtual machine. One is Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 10, which is a part of uh, uh, VM network, which is default one. And sales is a part of sales department. Uh, Windows 7 is a part of sales department and 
as per the segregation of our virtual machines, both machines are able to communicate to each other. Sales department, Windows 7. HR department, no virtual machine, VM network, Windows 10 operating system. So these two machines unable to communicate to each other because you configure a uh, port group, means VLAN, and put your virtual machine into the different, different port group or different, different VLAN ID. So this is the basic information. In single word, if anyone asks question related what is port group in a standard switch, so you can say that port group is a type of service which is available in a standard switch with the help of this particular service, we can segregate the network environment. In other words, we can say that it works just like a virtual LAN, VLAN. Guys, this is a basic information about the networking of uh, VMware. So I hope you all of you understand about uh, the port group, meaning of port group. In next session, we'll discuss about the core components of our uh, standard switch, like uh, the VM kernel, how we can manage the options which is available, like uh, NIC teaming, adding NIC card, and adding uplinks, etc. So for now, take care. Bye-bye. We'll connect soon with next video.